Hey guys, this is Shauna coming to you from Branding Time Studios. Today we're going to be talking about layers in Paint Tool Sci and how to use them. Let's get started with creating a layer. To do this, there's a little sheet of paper right here, and if you click it, it creates a new layer. You can drag it to wherever you want. I'm going to drop it down here, drop it up there, drop it down here again, drop it to the middle. To erase a layer, let's go ahead and draw something in this one. To erase it, there's a small eraser on a piece of paper right here you can click. It's right next to the trash can. You can click it and it will clear the entire layer. I'm going to contr control Z that to bring it back up and show you how to delete a layer completely. To do this, you can click this little trash can and it's gone. You no longer have to worry about it ever. Alright, so we got the creating a layer. I'm going to highlight that one. <coughs> Got the erasing a layer, highlight that one. Got the deleting a layer. Showing and hiding layers. All right, this is this is pretty pretty interesting. Right here is a little eye. This little eye can come in handy when you're sketching, coloring, drawing, whatever it may be. It is very useful. If you click it, it hides this layer. You almost feel like you deleted or erased it, but really. Whoosh, there it is. It's still there for you to play around with and show your TLC. Okay, so we're going to do show and hide layers. Creating a folder. This right here is the button for a folder. It, it almost kind of looks like a, like a little folder. And if you click it, you can drag this down here. If you have layers you want to put in it, you can put them in there. If you want to have layers that are not even available yet, you can click it, create a new layer inside of it. That's pretty nifty. Now, folders typically come in handy when you're coloring a picture, when you have many layers. So you might have your line art on one layer, and you might have your base color on another. And you may want to shade or add stripes or something to that particular color, but not the line art. So adding the colors to a folder is very helpful. And I'm just going to do a quick display of that right here. We'll create a couple layers in here, do a couple of colors. Do, do just a few random colors in here. And then I'm going to hit this. I'm going to close my folder, and I'm going to hit this little guy. This hides the entire folder, so you can show and hide folders and layers. That's pretty nifty. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please be sure to comment and subscribe below. And thank you guys for watching.